The GitHub FPV Sports Camera is one of the recent low-cost, high-definition camera breakthrough that caught the attention of casual photographers, enthusiasts and critics alike. It is Lil. I'm at the uh, Singapore Indoor Stadium for the Women's Semi-Finals Tennis. Poland, Agnieszka, Ron Vlinska. Here we have the pre-games, time-lapse 5 frames per second, and on the bottom left is the last serve of the game. Back in your mind that you could pull through. Well, um, after two losses in the beginning, I thought it's kind of over and I just had that interview against Simona and afterwards I was just cheering for Maria. She did a good job. I was in the semi-final and I, I won another match, so uh, well, I'm just so happy with that. It's your second time to the finals. You've now made it through to the exact finals. You're going to either take on Sarapova or Kavitova. Thoughts about that match. And then I want to ask you if you're going out for Halloween because one more bandage and you could go out as a mummy tonight. What do you think? Here I have a Gip 1 time lapse again at 5 frames per second just outside the stadium on a semi cloudy day. And then I moved on to a 1080p 30 frames per second wide angle shot of the same view just outside the stadium in Singapore. Around the corner is the Shimano Museum, which I used to ride the Shimano racing bikes. So this was shot indoors. I was kind of excited to see this smaller than museum. Can I bring back some old memories? The white dynamic range is turned on in this view that you're looking at. And then I have the auto balance set. So we're going to take a spot meter uh, observation from outdoors to the indoors. And now a journey with the Gip 1 to Malaysia, Johor Bahru, JB. It's Tipa Valley, the Hindu New Year time of the year where you get five days of festivity. As you can see, lots of uh, bright colors, fashion, and excitement for the Indians. Lastly, I'll take you on an area view on a hapsicopter to get one on the Tally H500 by Wakira.
The Git One is only capable of shooting at a maximum of 1080p at 30 frames per second, but the Git Two promises to double the frame rates. It comes packed with features such as loop recording, audio on off, timestamp, time lapse, self timer, white balance control, exposure value adjustment, a wide dynamic range to capture the same image at different contrast ratios, adjustable field of view, motion detection for auto start and a G sensor for automatically capturing video when a vehicle is bumped hard. In addition, you can remotely record a video from a watch-like remote control. I've included the project links and discounts on the description below. Have a good day from DroneMission.com